Good morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Just making sure I'm live here. It's Eliza with Prisma Homes. I am so excited to show you this home today. It's been a little while since we did a live tour, a few weeks. Slower time of year, I don't get to see you guys as much, but still really fun. Just waiting for a couple people to hop on here and then we'll get started. Okay, I think we're good. Sorry, always that little bit of dead air while I wait. So welcome to 107 Cooper Ave in Collingswood, New Jersey. I am at a brick row home uh, built in 1927, so coming up on her 100th birthday here, looking fabulous at 90 something, can't do that math. Um, this is a fantastic property. We listed this last Thursday. Um, as you will understand as I take you through, we do have multiple offers. We do have a deadline. So I know this market is so super weird. You never quite know if it's going to take 60 days to sell or six hours. Uh, this is, you know, the latter here. So we have a highly competitive situation with the best and final offer due tonight at 11.59 p.m. Uh, if you are interested, you need to speak with us and make us aware or talk to your agent and have them get on our radar quickly because we only have today. So again, 107 Cooper Ave in Collingswood. We are, I counted 200 steps from Collingswood Patco, which doesn't get any closer than that. However, I will say it's like, it's on Atlantic Ave and we're on a dead end. It's not one of these where the train is running through your backyard. Uh, of course you can hear it. We can all hear it, but it's not super intrusive and so the location's ideal we are priced at 275 it's a three bed one full bath home it is a row home it's gorgeous i'm going to show you the outside in a little bit uh again price is 275 we are priced at 246 the square foot that is awesome and people have responded accordingly again multiple offers with a deadline of this evening so if you were looking at this as an investment this is a really smart investment we can get you information on what we would anticipate this would rent for um, however i think most people bidding on it are doing so as owner occupants so it's kind of attracting both here but i think we can get started um this is an open house you guys can chat with me in the comments just kind of tell me like, hey, can you go back over here? Or this is what I would like to see. Um, anything like that, nice comments, please. If you're feeling friendly, tell me where you're watching from. I see a couple of familiar faces that have popped on. So hi guys, let's turn this around. Did it. Hardest part of the entire tour is pushing that button. So I'm gonna start with the outside view because I think it's lovely. There is some work going on next door. Um, just some refresh, I think, going on. A lot of things you're gonna see are freshly painted, but I'm gonna give you the shot here. We've got brand new numbers. Look at that, 107 Cooper, beautiful brick. And then look at this lovely front porch here. So just imagine, I'll show you where Patco is. We've got some Eagles fans here. So that's, you can't see the station from here. The, the station is just like, a few yards that way so nice easy commute or if you just love going to the city you don't have to be a commuter some people just love hopping into Philly I'm one of them every chance I get all right we'll just close this up we're gonna start right here so as you can see we enter into a beautiful living space this is so fresh and so clean all freshly painted these are painted hardwoods which are totally back in style you can see that these are the original hardwoods they've got all their character i was asked you know if you wanted to sand them and refinish i think you could they seem to be in fantastic shape what usually happens is something you know someone makes a decision to paint and then it's more work to unfinish than to just keep painting uh but I would have no reason to believe that you, whoops, pushed a button by accident, that you couldn't sort of refinish these. Oh, Laura, thank you. Isn't it great? Laura said that it's beautiful. And then there's the front. So we're looking at the front of the home. Really nice natural light. It's not the brightest day in the world out, but we do have a little bit of sunlight. You can see on the floor right there that it's coming through. The back of the home gets a ton of sunlight. 
Oh, you know what I didn't show you? Original front door, which is awesome. Look at this lovely 107. It's backwards view because it's facing outside. Look at that hand painted. Yes, you can scrape it off, but I thought it was so cute and it was kind of this little like demarcation of how loved this home was. A tenant did that. Uh, th there was a long-term tenant in here. That's why you see staging. When a tenant stays for 10 years, you guys, it's good. And that's exactly what happened here. Isn't this great? So you see that beautiful original staircase up, front door, and then plenty of room. I don't know if you're seeing there is a cable wire right down there. So I'm imagining that the TV was tucked into this corner right here. Again, guys, feel free to chat. Tell me what you love. Uh, we're at 107 Cooper Ave in Collingswood, 275. Deadline for offers is tonight. And I love the way this super elegant extra wide doorway takes you into the dining room. Let's go this way. Isn't this fantastic? Now this is big. So, and I said this in my description, if you've got a big old dining room set, the whole thing can fit in here. I mean, I'm imagining credenza, sideboard, big table, seating six, no problem. However, for a lot of us that might not do a lot of formal dining and entertaining, you could absolutely break up this space. Look at all this room over here. You could do like a work desk. You could do a little play area. If you have kids and they've got a little kitchen, you put it right there. If you're working from home, there's bedroom options upstairs because we are in a three bedroom, which is awesome. But if you wanted to, you could like, you could have a multi-use space here. They've added fans in lots of places here. Love the way that looks and feels. And then I love that it's a half wall with the countertop there. The kitchen's not huge. It's completely workable. When you think about how much countertop space this is and that there's seating there, Kathy loves the wide arch. I know, right? Like that is classic Collingswood right there with that beautiful original woodworking, 1927. So again, we've got this here, which is awesome. We've got two stools. You could easily fit three. Those are big stools. And that's another reason why I think, well, if you didn't need a huge dining set and you're maybe you're two, three people, you could do most of your eating right here, but this is also doubling as amazing prep space. The fridge, I love the fridge nook. It's tucked beautifully in there. You could do storage above if you wanted. And then look at this. I love a little cubby. It's got a sun and these gorgeous little green leaves and then the gold and then it goes to pink. I would buy this house for that little cubby, I swear. It's stuff like that that just sends me over the top. And then this is a lot of space here, guys. Look at all this. Nice new fixture on the sink there. Pretty little white vintage stove fits perfectly. We've got some shiplap right there. All of the windows have been replaced. Adorable, thank you, Kathy. I'm gonna take you guys to the backyard and then the, the color I can tell on my screen is not, I wanna get you close to color. This is a beautiful like oatmeal. And then we've got white trim and then a slightly lighter wall color and then a slightly darker floor color, but it's all in the same family. Sometimes, um, especially with a variety, because we've got incandescent bulbs and, and natural light, it can be kind of hard to see what colors, but I would go on and look at our listing photos because sometimes it comes better, come, comes through much better in a still photo than in a video. But the color palette here is a dream come true. Again, guys, I'm at 107 Cooper Ave in Collingswood. Adorable brick row home, three beds, one full bath. The basement door's there. We're not going there yet. We're gonna go up. Let's do it. This is a really high-end runner here. Look at this beautiful runner here. Original details. Hello. I love this staircase. And it's this classic turned staircase where you come up to a little landing. And then one thing I also want to point out is that you've got a nice, generous landing up here. 
sometimes, especially in 1920s <laughs> row home construction, you get up the stairs and there's like the narrowest hallway. This is different. I hope it's coming through on here. You have a lot of space. Not enough to do like a seat or anything really, but just so you feel like you can breathe. And this is our primary suite. Original crystal doorknobs on all but one of these doors. I wanna write it into the contract that whoever buys this house has to keep those. Okay, so let me back up. I'll show you this way first. I could live here. I love the doorknobs in all capitals. All caps, I love the doorknobs. I feel exactly the same, Kathy. <laughs> Obsessed. The first time I came here, I went home and started um, like Etsy and eBay shopping for salvaged doorknobs, and I couldn't find these exactly the way I want. Look, it's even on the closet door, so one, two. And again, that's like another indicator of how well cared for this home has been for almost a hundred years. When you find all your glass doorknobs, that is a loved, cared for, well attended to home. And look how pretty this is. My sellers, after they got this already, they were kind of having a moment. Like, wait a second, do we just want to keep it? <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm, I'm probably, Look at these beauties too. Look at these little knobs. It's the details, you guys, it really is. You had them in East Falls and it was one of your favorite features. Oh, Kathy, that's so sweet. Now, I wanna talk about this little nook. See how we've got the closet there. So there's one closet there. I've got two big closets behind me, which is like unheard of. And then you've got this bump out. We've got the bench and a huge standing mirror in there. You could do a desk, you could do a sofa, you could put a TV there opportunities we talk about those a lot on the tour whether you're going to use it a certain way or not simply having opportunities in your home is huge and if the pandemic taught us anything it's that we never quite know how much space or what kind of space we're going to need and flex space is key look at this closet this is not heard of ever unless you're like in a much newer build here huge closet with two doors and it goes all the way through give a shout out to this beautiful staging done by Brooke Nolan Interiors. Knocked it out of the park. Look at how pretty it is in here. And that light, remember I told you that this home receives beautiful light. Nice reading nook. Oh, what a perfect idea, Kathy. Reading nook right there. And then looking out is just as pretty. Look at that classic. This is Collingswood. Location, I already told you, 200 steps from Patco Collingswood. We'll talk about some other things that go on as soon as I stop gushing over these rooms. So now we're in bedroom two. Look how sweet this is. Mm, I love it. This green. Look at this palette here for a moment. Do we want to go redecorate our entire houses? Yes. Nice closet here, not anything like the primary, but it is good to have a closet. You know you don't always get one. Again, look at our beautiful original knob there. These original doors are incredible. All this woodworking. What a sweet, sweet room. Gorgeous, right? We can get you measurements. There is no disclosure simply because when a seller has not occupied a home in a number of years, it would be guesswork anyways to have them really do a disclosure. But my sellers are lovely. They can answer any questions somebody might have. A little echoey in here because we don't have furniture. But let me turn it around here. The roof was very recently done. HVAC and hot water heater within a few years. You get a linen closet. This is pretty special and it's big. So sort of like catch all upstairs storage. And then I wanna show you this incredible vintage bathroom. Look at the tile. If you guys have joined me on tours before, you know I've got a thing for this 
incredible. It fits between like 1910 and 1960. I love the tile. And then it's nice sort of like, um, like white and cream, very neutral. I love the brown. We've got a nice big, I think original tub here too. Look at that. Cute little vanity, it has seen a refresh. I love the like, I call these movie star lights. I don't know if that's correct. <laughs> that's what I call them. And a skylight, oh my gosh, I almost forgot to show you. So the reason this is so nice and bright is there's a beautiful skylight right there. So really lovely bathroom. It is a one bath home, so this is the only one. But again, look at, we've got We'll call this bedroom two because it's the it's the biggest of the this, this smaller non-primary two. So bedroom two, bedroom three. Oh, just stop it. And then primary being bedroom one and also stop it. It's too good. It's not fair to the rest of us. So as I mentioned, people are fighting for this home. We have multiple offers, best and final due prior to midnight tonight. 11.59 is the deadline. I'm sure you can understand why. Cute. Thank you, Corinne. Uh, <laughs> this baby's going to fly. Um, I'm going to show you the basement. I did a test earlier, and I do tend to lose signal if I go too far into the basement, but I think I can at least get down the stairs and show you. It's an unfinished basement. It's fantastic storage. It's probably not finishable just because of ceiling height. We're dealing with 1927 where for some reason they just didn't think we needed it. I would beg to differ. But in terms of storage, it doesn't get much better than this. And there's a Bilko walkout. So for getting like bikes, anything like that. And now I'm going to stand here and just give it, give you this tour. It's big, right? And then back there, you see the door and that goes up and out. Really great basement. Again, new HVAC within, I think, five years. Uh, block foundation. No red flags down here that I could see or that they're aware of. That's huge. Look at those floors. So much potential. Oh my gosh, right? Great storage. Yes, guys. You're seeing the uh, the benefits here. We're going to peek out back. So the way these backyards are set up, if you've never been in one, it's very communal, but you do have a fence and you've got your own uh, plot here. Look how cute this is. So can see they've got their um, recycling and trash cans here. There's a little, see the walkway? That's how you get out and around like with your trash. They've got string lights. There's a beautiful little patio right here. And then you have enough space to do like a garden or a little tiny swing set or something, whatever you want. And then you can just imagine everybody's very friendly because this is very sort of like wave to your neighbor type space really really nice all right I'm gonna cruise through one more time just chit chatting with you about um, location because we are in Collingswood I was lucky enough to live here for a period of time right when I got married so like very sweet time for us here in Collingswood that was many years ago um, but I'm here at least once a week. We were just, Prisma Homes just walked in the uh, holiday parade, which was awesome if you saw the Prisma truck. And then Melissa was Elsa. My son was Olaf. We had a mini Elsa. We had Melissa's son dressed up as Kristoff. So we were the Frozen team. What did I just say? I'm seeing a little flower and veggie garden. Yes. Oh my gosh. Imagine. Wish it was warm enough for that. So Collingswood parades. Um... All kinds of stuff happening in town all the time. You are sort of at the epicenter of South Jersey scene. So like the very best restaurants. Uh, it is dry town, so there's no bars, but Haddon Township is right next door. And we've got all kinds of bars and taverns and pubs. Plus, I love to BYOB. 
um, amazing source. So like just some of my favorites, like Clutter Vintage, Dig This Modern, Occasionette, um, Bespoke Home, like all of these places are just a couple of blocks away. Songbird Karaoke, if you have never been, I'd like you to book it now. It is the best time and it's literally just a couple blocks away. There is so much to do. There's so much happening during the holidays with their vintage light displays and all of these beautiful twinkle lights everywhere. It looks phenomenal. It's so festive. Um, and with Haddon Township being right next door, so we've got Haddon Township Pride, beautiful parade every year. All the stuff that goes on there, they've got like a beer garden community center set up. Uh, there's just, you will just be at no loss of things to do. Food is unbelievable in Collingswood. Some of the go-to spots are like Hearthside being the best, you know, best restaurant in, you know, whatever, 2023. Uh, June BYOB, fantastic. We've got all the um, standby nunzios. Uh, I'm blanking on, there's so many Italian restaurants. Oh my God. Villa Barone. Got sandwich shops, coffee shops. There's like three coffee shops to choose from. So if you want to kind of be where it's at, this is it. And we get a lot of buyers that are ready to be out of the city, but they're not sure if they're ready for like true suburbia. And Collingswood is the best because it's a quick drive to like Cherry Hill. And then we've got Wegmans and ShopRite and, you know, Target and all of that. But you're still walking or doing quick rides to places while you're here. So it really is the best of both worlds. If I don't see any more questions, we're going to wrap it. I thought this was going to only take me 10 minutes and then I talked a lot. <laughs> it's a problem I have. All right, let me turn this around. All right, so again, 107 Cooper, why is this? Hold on. Nope, nope, yep. <laughs> 107 Cooper, Collingswood, New Jersey. 275 is our price. Uh, three beds, one full bath. Highest, best, and final offer due tonight by 11.59 p.m. So there's no more open houses. After today, there's no more opportunities to come see it. Got to make the most of today. Grab that day. Um, any questions, DM us here on social media or find me, I'm Eliza. I'm probably tagged somewhere here. Uh, just send me a quick message. You can talk to us in this tour, even if you have an agent, but once the tour's over, we prefer you go through your agent if you have a relationship with an agent. If you don't have an agent, we can be your agent. Uh, just let us know how we can help. We'll hop right on it. Um, there are still appointments left for today, open appointments, so book those now. That was pack code. That was actually really good. You just heard it. That's as loud as it is. It's really not bad at all, but it's right here and you get to just like quick step over there. So again, I'm Eliza with Prisma Homes. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today at this fabulous tour, this beautiful home. So excited. I will see you at the next one. Everybody have an awesome week. All right. See ya.